Hey, this is Andy Wood from Down From Up, and I bet you can't play this. Here's the same excruciating lick played slower. Uh, this lick is all tapped, as we can all see. Um, I'm using both fingers again, because they're good fingers. Uh, so, let's start out. It's all based in A minor. Uh, just straight up, plain old A minor. Nothing crazy. But there's some fun nines and things like that thrown in. You'll see as we come across the lick. So let's start right here. You can do it with and without the scrunchie. Uh, just have the scrunchie on for good measure, personally. But the muting, you can mute with your pinky on these strings to cover the top strings. Muting also can come from the right hand when we get to the up top on the, uh, for, to cut, mute the low strings. So, let's start with the lick. It's nice, ending on that G notes sounds really cool. Another thing you're going to want to do that I do a lot in my tapping and silly licks is tap from nowhere with the left hand. Greg Howe, Guthrie Govan, lots of guys have beat me to the punch on this, but I like the way it sounds, so I use it anyway. That's uh, simply going so. So it's almost like you can do a chord at times. You don't want to get that necessarily in this to ring over. At some sections of the lick, it may sound nice. You can kind of twist it to suit your own evil means. And descending as well. So now we're, here's that, that nine that I was talking about. So now we're working out of this little box pattern, and this is where I'd probably switch to using my ring finger, making the jumps across the strings a little bit easier. Skipping the D. And now we're gonna move up again in uh, another position shift. We're gonna slide up with the first finger. The lick sounds really slippery and out of time, and that's what makes it fun. So now we've slid up to C, A. So you got A, C, E, you got a C, a C, D, G, and then A, C, F. Actually, let me correct that. That's an E. So uh, the frets are lining up to where you're playing uh, the 20th fret, and then on the G string, you're sliding back a fret to the 9th, 14th fret. That's all right hand. Now we're going to skip two strings for the big jump down at the end. So we're going all the way down to the low E. And we end on that A on the B string. So you'll see that the shape that we're doing on A, G, and E is also the same shape we slide down a set of strings and we do on E, D, and B. And that in and of itself can be a lot of fun. So you can just jump around all over the place with those two shapes right there. And as long as you're in the key of A minor, it's a get out of jail free card. And the most fun part of the lick, of course, is the ending with the big step and a half bend. Also, of course, throughout the lick, because we're jumping around strings like, like madmen, you're gonna want to palm mute as much as possible. On the lower strings, like I said, use the left hand a little bit on the, the or the higher strings rather, and then use the, I use the meat of my right hand. A little tip to get some nice volume and pop out of this is when you're hammering with your left hand, make sure it's nice and firm. You should uh, just be able to touch the string and you should be able to pull away with uh, your pull-offs to make it nice and snappy and loud. Uh, 
personal preference, I, I'm a push away kind of guy with my right hand. So, you can see with the right hand I'm pushing away. And that applies to both fingers. I always just push away. Eddie Van Halen pulls towards him. Whatever's more comfortable is going to be more than okay. It's just what you want to get is nice volume out of the tap. And you should be able to get it completely unplugged or on a clean channel, and it should still ring out plenty loud enough.